Hello you guys, it's Dennis here for Delight Sense Graphics and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to design this beauty salon banner with Corel Draw 2021. So without any further ado, let's jump right in. So if this is your first time here and you want to level up your graphic design skills, consider subscribing and turn on the bell so you get notified when we upload a new video. So let's jump straight into Corel Draw. So once you open up your Corel Draw and you create a new document, the next thing you want to do is to set the size of the banner you want to work with. And you know banners are always printed with feet. Okay, the unit for printing banner is always in feet. But if I design with feet on my PC, it's gonna be very large and makes the whole job very dull. So then I'm going to set my unit to inches. When I set my unit to inches, cause inches is actually equivalent to feet. So I'm going to set my size instead of five by eight feet, I'm going to set it to five by eight inches, which is equivalent to feet. So you click on your unit and set your unit to inches here and then you set your size here to 5 and here to, uh, sorry, 5 by 8. Okay, so this is the size of the banner. And next thing you want to do is to click on your rectangle tool and create a shape like this and then give it 5 by 8 inches as well. So you get the actual size of the banner then you press p on your keyboard to place it on your on your page okay you press p on your keyboard to place it on your page just like this then you take off the outline here by right clicking on the white area here and you click on set outline color and once you do that the outline on this shape is out you can give it a white temporal color so you can have this shape like this and that looks very cool and the next thing you are going to do is to import some images we'll be using for this design but before then i would like to create the template i'll use for this design first and you need to watch this carefully so you understand the exact thing i'm going to do here so next up you're going to click on your rectangle tool and press ctrl on your keyboard and create this square shape just like this and once you do that you get this even sided square shape so you click again on the shape to get this curve and you hold here and rotate press control on your keyboard while rotating this so you can maintain a good rotation so once you are at this angle this way you leave okay so this is what you get okay and then i'm going to duplicate this shape into six places and this is how i'm going to duplicate it duplicate it this way um right click before you leave when you click and drag and make sure that the shape aligns with the other shape just like what you see here and then you're going to do it again click and drag and right click before you leave then you set this the shape to this particular angle make sure it aligns very well you can select the three shapes since i need to duplicate six shapes so you select the three shapes and click and drag and right click to get the six, six shapes at once then you align it just like others so that's very cool and nice that's very nice so with this we're going to select all the shapes and reduce it because it looks very bigger remember i reduce it from this angle so you click and drag to reduce it this way it looks very cool and nice then we're going to duplicate these six shapes again you click and hold and rotate it this way press ctrl while rotating so you maintain a good rotation then you right click before you leave to get this particular rotation just like this but then we are going to set this shape here bring it down here and make sure it aligns with this particular shape at the center here remember i'm aligning it with the with this particular shape here so we have three shapes here two shapes here and this one at the center aligns with the one that overlaps this other shape I know it might be very stressful, but if you follow up this tutorial carefully, you understand what I'm actually doing here and you take it step by step. So with that, we're going to delete some of the shapes here because we actually need only four shapes in this particular angle. So I'm going to delete this 
and delete this as well and delete these other shapes that overlaps so we have this particular arrangement okay you can select these other uh, three shapes okay select this and give it a little space because it's actually too close so you can take that up a little and this looks better so once you are at this particular setting now let me tell you what i'm trying to do i'm trying to create boxes where i'm going to affix pictures i'm going to fix pictures inside these boxes by power clipping them inside the boxes to display the particular advert i'm about to make okay so then let's move on to the next you're going to click on this uh shape and click and drag and duplicate and then make sure you place it correctly just like this as it aligns to other shape but this time you're going to reduce this particular shape you're going to reduce it this way and make it smaller than others a little then align the shape just like this and make sure it aligns very well once you are at this point then you are good to go let's move on again so then i'm going to click on these other two shapes select the both of them press shift and select the two shapes here and click and drag and right click before you leave to duplicate and align this very well just like others do the same again click and drag and right click before you leave then you take this down here and place it there so then you see we have all these shapes put together just like this so i'm going to link up this particular design on the community tab for channel members so if you're a channel member you go to the community tab and download this so you won't stress yourself doing this particular arrangement again but if you really need to understand and how to do this then you have to follow this carefully and watch again and again repeatedly until you master this particular technique let's just move on so the next thing we are going to do is to duplicate this shape here again we will continue duplicating till we get exactly what we want so you duplicate this and fix here so we get this arrangement as well so the last shape i'm going to duplicate here is to duplicate this particular shape click and draw and right click to duplicate and make it smaller than this then you can fix it here just align it here and it looks better then this is just the particular setup now let's take it inside our design so you can select all this shape and press ctrl g to group after highlighting all of them and right click and click on power clip inside then you click on our shape and this particular shapes goes inside the power clip next thing you want to do is to press alt on your keyboard and select the shape and bring it down here now we're going to adjust these shapes till it fits on uh, the borders of our design so you're going to click and drag here and bring this downwards bring it down again okay take this upwards okay now what you need to watch at is to make sure that this particular point cuts at this edge so you make sure the point cuts at the edge of that design and that's just what we want to achieve and next thing going to adjust again is to adjust this particular uh, shape this way okay it's beginning to fit what we actually want okay so you're going to adjust this again by taking this out what a little fine this is a very nice position for this but then i'm going to take it down what a little press control while bringing it down so it aligns very well it goes on a straight line and make sure this point is at this edge and this cuts just like this and once you get this particular setup you are actually very very good to go so let's just continue so the next thing i'm going to do is to click on this shape again and click on edit to open up your power clip because i still have to adjust these shapes to fit what i actually want because i'm going to fix in a picture here i'm sorry because i'm going to make some write-ups here so i'm going to reduce this particular box click on on group or and click on this shape here this shape close to this other shape then you click on your shape to press ctrl q on your keyboard to curve the shape and select this particular two nodes select this node and press shift and select this other node as well select this node and press ctrl and select this other node as well while you take this upwards a little just like that and it looks very cool select this other shape as well and press ctrl q to curve the shape and select these two nodes press ctrl and select these two nodes and take it upwards closer 
to this other shape till it aligns very well then i need to fill these spaces just here because i can't leave that space just like that so you press ctrl q to curve this particular shape as well when after you select it and bring down this this way till you reach this edge and do the same to this other angle and make sure you are working on the particular guidelines so you align very well so this is what we get and i'm going to do the same to this other shape click on this shape i'm trying to fill out the edges of this particular design so there will be no empty space once i fix the pictures then you press ctrl q on your keyboard as well select these two shapes and bring it down here and make sure you work with the guidelines corel draw gives okay that's fine then i'm going to do the same to this other shape to fill this particular space here press ctrl q to curve the shape and make sure you work on that particular guideline so that particular space is filled and everything is well set so this looks very cool next thing i'm going to do is to create a kind of uh, shape around all these squares you click on your uh, pen tool and create a shape like this click here and bring it to this angle edge and click and make sure you follow these angles these guides very well okay you click here and take it upwards to this other direction and click here then you can now rotate around all these shapes and reach here so this is what we get and next thing you want to do is to give it a, a temporal color maybe purple and right click here and click on set outline color to take off the outline and next thing you want to do is to send this shape to the back of the shapes we created already so you press ctrl and press ctrl page down till it reaches the back of all these shapes and this is what we get so the next thing you are going to do is to fill this particular shape purple shape we created here you're going to fill it make a gradient fill with magenta so i'm going to click on interactive fill tool and fill it with magenta just like this and then you click on your elliptical fountain fill for the magenta color to be at the center just like this then you can reduce the fill this way and bring it down a little and this looks very cool you click on finish editing to see what it actually looks like then i'm going to open this up again click on edit to open up and select all the square shapes we created and give it white and then you can right click here and click on set outline color to take off the outline so this is actually what we get click on finish to finish editing partly now the banner is almost set then you click on this shape and give it this deep yellow color and that is very fine so i'm going to open up my folder where i have all the resources and the models i will be using for this banner i'm going to link up all these resources on the community tab for channel members so they can download this and recreate their own design that is if you are interested to get the resources and if you are not a channel member do your best to click on join below this video and register and sign up for our channel membership so you can always get this benefit of getting all the resources i use for my videos and then there are other benefits attached to being a channel member okay let's just continue so i'm going to select my model which is this particular image and take it to the design so this is the model i'll be using for this particular banner you can reduce this model just this way remember when you are reducing or scaling up a, a picture or an image you have to select from these edges and not from the sides like this you select from the edges so i'm going to reduce this and right click and click on power clip inside and click on the shape so the picture goes inside the power clip you press alternate and select the picture and bring it to this particular angle you can place it somewhere here and increase the picture again and press ctrl page down to send it to the back okay then this is what we get once the picture goes to the back this is what we get and then i'm going to shift this picture to this other side but i don't want it to be to close up the whole space since we still have other elements to fix on this particular banner okay shift it to this angle and not to cut off the earring we need the earring here so it's just perfect this way and it looks very cool and then i'm going to add shadow to our purple shape i'm going to click on this shape and click on edit and click on our purple shape and click on the shadow tool and click and drag upwards to create this shadow just like this 
wow the shadow pops up so you're going to adjust the trans the shadow opacity or transparency this way and adjust the faders to nine and that looks perfect you click on finish to finish editing of the power clip so this is what you see and that is just how it looks like it looks very cool and very nice so the next thing i'm going to do is to type in the name of this particular brand so i'm going to click on my text tool and make this particular text So this is the name of the brand. I'm going to click here and change the typeface to um, Made Tommy. Okay, that's the typeface I'll be using here. You can check the description of the video so you see the fonts I use for this particular design. Made Tommy is the font I'll be using here. But then I'm, I'm looking for the bold version of Made Tommy. So I'm going to click here and it opens up like this and you select Made Tommy and then you see other options to select Made Tommy black so this is actually the made tummy i'm looking for then you click on your shape tool and close up the spacing between all these text just like this then you're going to select the text and give it a um, deep violet that's the color we're going to work with and bring it just here you can adjust the name again and take it upwards a little then i'm going to fill this particular text with black fine and that looks very cool and nice so you fill it this way with black so this looks very cool and then you right click on white to give it and set outline color to give it this white outline okay this looks very cool you can press on ctrl q to curve the uh, the text and then set your outline uh, width to uh, 10 or one point okay one point is actually perfect for this particular arrangement and looks looks very cool so i'm going to bring in other images i have for this particular design and i fix them according to their boxes okay so i'm going to open up my resources and select all the images i have here and take them to corel draw there are actually 13 images in total bring this here and i'm going to arrange this accordingly so it fits this particular design very well you just have to arrange them so you see every image and know the position that fits each of them very well okay i'm going to start placing the images okay you click on the first image uh right click and drag to the shape and then you have these options you click on power clip inside then you click on edit to open up your power clip and bring in this image here okay then once you reduce the image you right click and click on power clip inside then you select this particular shape and this image goes inside the power clip okay then you click on uh alt and select the image and adjust it just like this you can rotate it this way uh it's rotating too much so you can uh just rotate it this way and adjust it till it fills the whole shape there okay uh, your placement might not be all that perfect but you just try to make it uh, close up the whole white spaces on the particular uh, stuff. Okay, that looks cool. But I really need to advertise just her, her painting. Okay. Okay, cool. Click on finish. So this is what we get here. I'm going to select all these images and take them inside the power clip. Press Ctrl X to cut and click on the shape and click on edit. And once you do that you are good to go you press ctrl v and once the whole pictures are pasted you can pick them up and fix them anywhere you want to i'm going to right click on this click on power clip inside and fix them here i'm going to be very fast here by fixing all these pictures accordingly to where i want them to be okay I'm going to be very fast okay okay so you see this is all the pictures fixed in their boxes and now i'm going to adjust the pictures to fit the boxes you press alternate on your keyboard and select a picture and reduce it just like this and reduce it till it fits the particular box okay 
then you see it has white spaces around here so i'm going to fill up the white spaces so i'm going to open up this particular shape click on the shape and click on edit to open up this shape and then add transparency on the sides just like this and then click on your uh, rectangle tool and create this shape here select and create another shape here and make sure you don't create the shape to touch the hair just by the sides you create another shape here and that looks very cool so you select this shape press shift and select the hair and click on uh, intersect then you can delete this shape out click on this also press shift and select the hair and click on intersect and then delete this out you click on this again press shift and select the image and click on intersect and that's cool delete so you can now click you see with the help of intersect i've been able to create this particular image so you select this one and drag it upwards and select this other one and drag it to the side and select this and drag it to the side as well with this i've been able to fill up the white spaces so you click on finish so this is what we get it fills up the white spaces of this design so then i'm going to select this as well press alternate and select this and reduce it this way and bring it down here now this one has no problem because the background is actually white so it fits with the shape we move to the next one press alternate and select this as well and reduce it because we need to advertise the hair very well you reduce this again and that looks perfect i'm going to open up the power clip and do the same effect we did for this other one click on edit and it opens up like this so then you create a shape and select here create a shape here as well and it fills that whole space there click on the shape press shift and select the hair and click on intersect and delete this out click on this press shift select the hair and click on intersect and delete this out so you can hold here click here and drag do the same here and drag it fills up now you may ask why i did not do that to this because there was no space here the hair covers the whole space upwards so for that i'm going to use my transparency to select the whole stuff here select all and convert it to bitmap because we need the background to be one so you press uh, click on your transparency to press shift and make this top edge transparent just like this click on finish and this is what we get you can now give it a black color to fill that whole space there using your interactive fill tool you can fill it this way so this side remains white and this side remains black and it feels with the background it looks very cool that way then i'm going to be fast this time around to do that for all these particular images you are seeing here So then I'm done with all the arrangements. Okay, I think I still have one more image here. So then I'm done with all the arrangements and this is just what we get. I'm going to select this other shape and give it this yellow color just like that. And then we are good to go. Click on finish and this is what we get our arrangement is very neat and nice because that is actually the beauty of this banner the way we arrange the picture it's actually what brings up the beauty then i'm going to select what i've already done the contact details for this banner and every other uh text have been arranged already all i'm going to do is to open it up here and copy this press ctrl x and bring it to this design and paste it just here so this is where I'm going to place this particular text. I'm going to adjust it this way and it, it actually falls in here very perfect and very nice. And make sure you put it in such a way that it fits this piece and it's actually readable. Make sure it's readable. Whenever you are putting a text on a banner like this, it's supposed to be very readable. You create this shape around it this way because I want to give it a white color here so it's fit uh the whole stuff select this one node and convert it to curve just like this and give it white 
and right click here and click on set outline color to take up the outline and press control page down send it to the back so this is what we get and then i'm going to select this again and bring you this contact details and paste it here so that's where the contact details is gonna be okay let's see the final look of this simple banner design this is actually how it looks like boom this is it so then let me know down in the comments what's your thoughts about this design and leave a like if you like this video and make sure you share this video to other graphic designers because once you do that you help us to get discovered and when you like you are telling youtube that this content is better to be forwarded to more viewers thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you guys next time